When I created the bone hauler for the Halloween build-off, I had a chunk of bone shaker bed left over that wasn't sure what I was going to do with it. And so I was watching the TV show Counts Customs, or Counting Cars, uh, showing the Counts Customs shop, and they were out looking for cars to flip. And they saw a flower car, which if you're not familiar with flower cars, um, Google John Gotti flower car, and you'll see uh, when he passed away, there were several mortuary flower cars loaded with flowers as part of the procession. It's a way for the mortuaries to carry the flowers to the cemetery, to follow the hearse around, and uh, deliver the flowers. So I thought, let me do an extended bed on a bone shaker, and then use that as a flower car, as a sister car to the... Uh, to the bone hauler hearse. So it's very similar in color as you'll see at the end to that build. I extended the bed. Um, I took a sheet of styrene. I wanted the two pieces to be level so I just cut out a scrap of styrene so that I could then tack, JB Weld, tack those pieces together. I wanted the top edge obviously of the bed to be straight. So that's what the styrene was for. I basically cut this chunk. I end up taping it around the bone shaker body itself. And then I tack the bed onto that. And so I was just basically trying to create a, a as I mentioned, a sister car to the hearse. I was really happy with how the hearse turned out. And I thought this would be kind of, kind of colorful. Uh, to have all the flowers. I wasn't sure how I was going to do the flowers, but I thought I'd figure it out. And uh, so I proceeded to, to try extending the bed. And what, what you won't see here is when I tacked it together, this part went well. And uh, I used a little JB Weld to tack it together, which it seems like I use JB Weld constantly in every build. Um, but then I, as I was uh, sanding, I got a little carried away and the bed snapped off. And so that part's not in the video because it would just be, I, I'd have to silence it because of all the swearing that went on. <laughs> but uh, I retacked it, it went together well. So here you see how it ended up. And uh, there's basically the two beds together. You can see they ended up pretty straight. So using the styrene as a guide helped. Children do not do this at home. Do not use an X-Acto saw this way. I was chopping part of the interior off uh, of the bed because there's that fuel tank on the back that because of how the extended bed sits, it couldn't be there anymore. That part had to be chopped off. And those X-Acto saws like that come in really handy for that type of situation. It's easier to use than the jeweler saw when you're making just a, a simple straight cut like that. So I tried fitting that uh, shortened interior or the flattened interior into that and, and now it works. And uh, I do end up painting the interior to be very similar to the bone hauler. I love the interior seats being red on that one. I, I really like the contrast of that with the black body. It's a black pearl paint, duplicolor paint, that oddly was difficult to work with. I'm not quite sure why it was such a problem getting the gloss coat to work with it and everything, but it ends up fine. But uh, here's after coating it with the paint. And you can see there's still a little bit of the bone shaker design on the bed. I did leave that. So then for the tin, I used bare metal foil, which is kind of a a foil contact paper, uh, for lack of a better way to describe it. So there you can see I lined it, and then I used basically shrubbery that's used for railroading. Um, ended up cutting that up and stick, sticking it in the bed, just uh, super gluing it in there. So um, 
since much of this was similar to the bone hauler, I, I didn't bother showing it here because it's in that video, but I painted the interior very similarly. I uh, detailed some of the tail lights. When you're using bare metal foil, always make sure you have a very sharp knife. They are not kidding when they say that in the instructions. This stuff was around when I was a kid and it, I'm shocked that it's still around, uh, but it's fantastic, so it should still be around. Uh, but it does allow you to have a true metal look to things that it's really almost impossible to achieve with paint. Um, it works very well. It's incredibly thin. It will The detail underneath will still show through. Uh, as you'll see a little bit, you'll see some of the detail on the side of the bone shaker beds, the, the raised pattern that they have on there, when uh, you'll see some of the close-ups. So here was the end result. It's very similar to the bone hauler, as you can tell. I love the flowers in the back. Um, there are the two cars, the sister cars. And uh, so here's a better look at the end result. I hope you like this car. I think it's a perfect companion to the other car. Um, the other car I had a consideration of doing at one point is a rat rod. This one I never had that thought. This one I always thought this was the direction to go with it and I really liked the results. Hopefully you like this video. Uh, if you do, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. There will be more videos like this hopefully soon in the future. Uh, thank you for watching. I really appreciate all of your uh, comments and uh, thank you for subscribing. Take care.